I am Martin Lind. I'm the Water Watch Coordinator for Southern ACT Catchment Group, and I believe I'm the winner of the Land Care Coordinators Award for the year. Funnily enough, the passion came from hanging around radical students, physics students from the ANU, back in the late 70s as an impressionable student. I enrolled in a rock climbing course at high school because my mate enrolled in it. Like you make all your curriculum choices when you're that age, you enroll in classes that your mates are in. And we started, we had, we had a teacher there who had, had done koala research up in northern New South Wales. And I can't remember his name, Richardson was his surname, and I can't remember his first name. But he also ran a rock climbing class. And this was the heady days of 70s education in Canberra where they ran all sorts of amazing classes and you could have about half a dozen students and you could, you could still hold these, these courses. So we spent time up at Wurrumba, which as most people know is up in Namaji now, I think it was part of the National Park back then, and we, my friends and I became, we, we would do this on the weekends when we got our licences and got into college age and licence age, we'd go out in the weekend and we started hanging around university students and slowly through almost um, osmosis, we absorbed the passion of the late 70s about environmental things and, and, and the seed was set. The seed was set, and, and so over time I'd, I'd worked as a various jobs. Um, I worked as a youth worker before becoming a teacher. Prior to that, I, I, I finished a degree in zoology, forestry and ecology. I'd been a volunteer for the ACD Environment, uh, sorry, Canberra and Southeast Region Environment Centre when it was still over at Childers Street and um, had a lot to do with 2XX back in those days. and. It all slowly fell together, and when I became a teacher, I, 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 I ran water watch programs, environmental programs with students at uh, Corwell High School, mainly because the school was approached by some rangers who were looking for a group of school students to adopt a particular gully in the Tuggeranong Valley that, that needed some work. And I put my hand up and said, yes, I'd love to write a course around this. I've got the background in this sort of stuff. And that's when I became introduced to water watch land care, park care and those sorts of things and it's there's been periods of my time where I've been in and out of that field so that was as a teacher for, for 15 years I got in my latter part of my teaching years I became involved in student welfare and the environment side of things was let go just through force of time. Uh, I then went on to become a, a, a social worker for a number of years and then a water watch position became available in 2008. It was only a part-time job with narrow tenure, it had three months, three days a week and I said look I'm, I'm, I'm up for that level of risk. I put my hand up and funnily enough the person on the interview panel was my old boss from one of the high schools, Glenis Bultoni, and she said oh yeah we want him, he's, he's, he's silly enough to do this job and so the rest is history. It, it's, so it's been a, a a fantastic, finally, finally the job I wanted as a university student back in my early 20s. It took me until my, you know, late 40s to finally get, but I got there. Yeah, so that's the, that's the short and the long of it. Thank your achievement. Look, it's really hard to, it's, that's a very difficult thing to, to pin down. When I look at the success of the ACT, the Upper Murrumbidgee Water Watch program, and I look at the level of involvement and commitment that I get from my cohort of volunteers, and the size of the, 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 the size of input, that I get from that cohort of volunteers. For me, that, that's where I get a real sense of pride. We, we have, we, the, the, my catchment group has the, the, the largest collection of, of volunteers and data set for the region. I have some of the longest serving volunteers in the region. Two of the award winners tonight were my volunteers. One of the award nominees was another volunteer, Jerem Bomber Wetlands. The coordinator of that is another one of my volunteers. Um, it is 
for me, it's, it's supporting volunteers from all sorts of different backgrounds, whether it's students, whether it's retirees, whether it's unemployed, whether it's disabled, whether it's special needs. It's, it's, get, it's having people, when they say they keep coming back and they keep doing the thing, they keep doing the volunteering, for me, that's when I know I'm doing things right. That's, that's how I know I'm doing things right. Because they don't have to come back. They don't have to volunteer. They don't have to keep doing what they do. But I've got volunteers who've been doing this for, for so I forgot your name. Sorry? Richard. 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 I've got volunteers who've been doing this for over, now getting on um, 13 years, more. Fiona's been doing this for 17 years. You know, she's had a couple of different coordinators, but the fact that they haven't all down tools and, and, and left shop, that's where my pride is, is that you keep, you keep going. Why is that significant? The longevity of volunteering in land care does a couple of things. It creates continuity of knowledge. So you've got that, that, that executive knowledge of what's happening in the landscape and how Canberra is changing. And it brings in it, it, that 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 um, snowball effect of more people coming on board and knowing that there's a stability within what land care is represents. There's a stability in what you represent in terms of volunteering, what your commitments are. It 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 feeds itself. It feeds itself. I get I get students and new people coming along who, when they hear the stories and get involved with the older members of the community become inspired for that sort of work and they, they themselves then become impassioned to keep that going and that that is where the that is where the the um, the value is in what what it is that I do that's the key thing uh, get back to work on Monday and get on top of the emails get on top of the volunteer training Keep doing what we do and keep keep saying we've, we've, we've made a commitment um, Water Watch and Southern ACT Catchment Group and the other catchment groups have made a commitment to the ACT government and the ACT community to deliver the best that we can do and you just that that's what the aim is it doesn't really change it doesn't change that Richard yeah the commitment to what we do for the for the environment it, it's something that's a continual it, it's something you, you cannot um, what's the word you can't take a break you, you can't rest on your laurels with the stuff it's an ongoing it's an ongoing issue we know we're facing big challenges but we know we've also got a lot of potential out there for some great outcomes keep peddling <laughs>